Hello there, my name is Elis, and like everyone, I have a bucket list of things I want to try, and one of those things is colorizing a black and white photo. I saw that the latest update of Photoshop added a way to colorize an image using machine learning, and have figured it would be a fun little experiment to see what would look better between a photograph colored by someone that has never done that before, versus what an AI can do. I am not a Photoshop novice, I use it on a daily basis, but I've never done this, so this should be fun. Uh, I've searched online for a suitable image to work on, and I stumbled upon this photograph, and that mustache was epic. Also, it looked like a GQ cover from the 1900s, so that gave me an idea of, uh, for a color palette. I started off by cleaning up the image. It doesn't need to be perfect, but I want to remove all the distractions. Once the photo is ready to be colorized, I just need a palette to avoid picking random colors. So here's a quick tip. You can create a palette from any image. Simply pick an image with the colors you like, crop it to have an average of all the values you're looking for, and resize it to a height of 16 pixels. Now we have our palette. I just create a layer on top of the black and white photo and block in the colors from my palette. I try to pick various values and blend them with a smooth smudge brush uh, with some scattering turned on. I want to avoid any hard edge and add some randomness. Thank you. 
Once I'm happy with the result, I'm going to try and break the colors a little bit. A man's face has roughly three zones, a yellowish zone on the top of the face where there's bone and fat, a red zone in the middle where blood is more present, and a blue zone at the bottom where the beard grows. I start from there, then I break the zones a little bit where there are more bone, fats and veins, just to add a bit more variation. I blend with my smudge brush along the way to avoid any sharp transition. I blend that layer with a low opacity and a soft light blend mode, just to give it more variation again. This is, we're trying to break from that flat color look. In the same vein, I add another layer uh, where I paint some yellow and blue light colors blended again at a low opacity. Again, trying to break uh, the colors a little bit. At that point, I could go on forever to add more and more, but I decided to stop here as I did not know what the AI would output yet. I was an hour in, so it seemed like a good place to end it. Now I could jump in and try the new neural filter that uses machine learning to colorize the photograph. I ran the filter and this is what I got. It's something. I think I did a better job, at least I hope. Um, the filter does something okay in a couple of seconds. Um, I saw you had a couple of settings to play around, so I tried to apply the same colors to make a fair comparison. But here you have it. What you could do with very little experience versus what a plugin can do in mere seconds. Um, tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, I think what the plugin gives you is very usable and looks like a colorized photo, at least what you think about when you think about a colorized image. Uh, if you have thousands of photos to colorize, this is a great tool. But if you only have a single photo or time, it, does make, it doesn't take a tremendous amount of skill to do something better. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this interesting. I know I was curious to see uh, how good or bad of a job I did. Uh, if you have tips uh, for colorizing photos, don't hesitate to share them as well. I like to read them and others might too. Uh, on that note, that's it for me. I'll see you in another video.